So what's going on guys, Kades here and welcome back to a brand new video. For today I will show you the top 3 best builds in New World 2023. So there is a new meta and that's why for each and every single build I will explain what attributes, weapon masteries and even weapon and gear perks you want to have. Then what gems and specific gear you want to use to get out your stats as much damage as possible. Then as well I will show you the best gameplay of me using different weapons so you would know which abilities you want to use first on your enemies and much more. So if this sounds interesting to you then let's get right into it. So then moving over to the first build which is the great sword and hatchet and these are the attributes you want to have. So no matter from which level you start using this build you first of all want to get your dexterity and strength both 100 and then get 50 points in constitution and then continue putting everything else in dexterity and strength and then around level 60 and 625 item score gear you should have around 200 strength 150 dexterity and 150 constitution and as you can see the yellow bar color indicates the attributes you get from level 60 then the blue color indicates the attributes that you get from your gear and then the purple color indicates the attributes that you get from food and then lastly for your gear you want to go with the light category which means using one medium chest piece and then the rest light equipment so then taking a closer look at the first weapon which is the greatsword and these are the weapon masteries you want to have so first things first you want to select this perk and then unlock the first ability called the relentless rush and then get these two perks then from here let's move over to the other side and unlock the second ability called the calamity counter and then get this one perk and then lastly unlock the last ability called the steadfast strike and then get these two perks and that's it now from this point and onwards you're free to pick and choose which perks you want to unlock next so then moving over to the second weapon which is the hatchet and these are the weapon masteries you want to have so first of all you want to unlock this berserk ability with these two perks then afterwards get the second ability called the feral rush and then get this one perk then from here let's move over to the other side and unlock these two perks and then lastly get the last ability called the social distancing and then get this one perk and that's it. Now again from this point you're free to choose in whichever order you want to spend your points. Ok so now let's go over to the gameplay where I'll show you the best way to play this build. And for the first weapon we have the greatsword and your first Q ability is called the relentless rush which will dash through your enemies while spinning and applying a 20% slow for the next 4 seconds. Then for the second ability we have the Calamity Counter, which will give you a block for 2 seconds. And depending on how many times the enemy continues to attack you, the more counter damage you will be able to do after the 2 second block expires. And then lastly we have the Steadfast Strike, which will stab your enemies and do up to 2 hits, which will do more damage and restore the mana upon finishing the animation. And in PvE this skill can be used to aggro all the monsters as well. And then for the second weapon we have the Hatchet and your first Q ability is called the Berserk which after you activate it, you will enter the berserk mode, which will give you speed, self healing and attack damage increase. So this skill is amazing just to use in open world to catch players or run away from them. Then for the second ability we have the feral rush, which will make your character leap forwards and do damage twice. And if you hit the enemy from behind, then you will stun him for 2 seconds. And then lastly we have the social distancing skill, which will throw a hatchet dealing damage and inflicting slow for 30%. And at the same time your character will do a backwards dodge and become invulnerable for a short duration. So then let's move over to the rotation. And no matter if you're farming mobs in PvE or doing PvP the same principle and rules apply. So at the beginning of the fight we want to start with the greatsword. And first of all use the relentless rush to do AOE damage and close the distance. And then afterwards use the steadfast strike. Then now switch to the hatchet and activate berserk mode. While spamming basic attacks and using feral rush. And then lastly if you need to dodge the enemy attacks and become invulnerable then use the social distancing. And then again switch to the greatsword and use the calamity counter to block 90% of the damage and then counter attack the enemy. And that's about it. So now for my last and final conclusions for this build. This greatsword and hatchet weapon combination right now is one of the best builds in New World. This build will give you good survivability while at the same time give you a massive amounts of damage. So then last but not the least, this is what you want to be using, greatsword, hatchet and chest armor vise. And perks are as important as gems. Then second of all, these are the best gloves, boots, leg armor and helmet. And then lastly, these are the top 3 best jewelry that you want to have. If I went too fast, you're feel free to pause the video at any time and copy these exact same gems and perks. But of course, this build will work just fine with any gear, as long as you're using the same attribute and weapon setup that I showed. And you can as well use the basic gems. 
And then lastly, this is how your item should look like. So on your bar, you want to use the health and regen potions, carrot cake and old flesh palm. And then of course, on your character, you want to equip the heart rune of detonate. So in a quick summary, if you're looking to do high damage or you just want to use one of the best greatsword builds, then for sure, try this one out and have fun. So then moving over to the second build, which is the bow and spear. And these are the attributes you want to have. So no matter from which level you start using this build, you first of all want to get your dexterity to 200, and then get 50 points in constitution, and then continue putting everything else in dexterity. And then around level 60 and 625 item score gear, you should have around 300 dexterity and 200 constitution. And as I explained in the first build, the yellow bar color indicates the attributes that you get from reaching level 60, then the blue color indicates the attributes that you get from your gear, and then the purple color indicates the attributes that you get from food. And then lastly for your gear, you want to go with the light category, which means using one medium chest piece and then the rest light equipment. So then taking a closer look at the first weapon, which is the bow. And these are the weapon masteries you want to have. So first things first, you want to unlock all these three abilities called the penetrating shot, explosive arrow and rapid shot, and then get these five perks. Then now let's go over to the other side and get all of these five perks and that's it. Now from this point and onwards, you can unlock all the other perks in whatever order you want. So then moving over to the second weapon, which is the spear. And these are the weapon masteries you want to have. So first of all, you want to unlock the scuba ability and then get these two perks. Then now get the second ability called the perforate and then get these two more perks. Then from here, let's move over to the other side and get this one perk and then unlock the last and final ability called the sweep and then get these two more perks and that's it. Now again from this point, you're feel free to pick and choose which perks you want to unlock next. Okay, so now let's go over to the gameplay, where I will show you the best way to play this build. And for the first weapon, we have the bow, and the first Q spell is called the Penetrating Shot, which will shoot a special arrow that does a lot of damage and can go through multiple targets. Then the second ability is called the Explosive Shot, which will fire an arrow that explodes in 2.5 meter range. And then lastly, we have the Rapid Shot, which will shoot 3 arrows in a second or two, and each hit will do even more damage. And then for the second weapon, we have the Spear, and your first Q ability is called the Skewer, which will make your character rush forwards and deal damage, while at the same time making your enemy bleed for 10 seconds. Then the second skill is called the Perforate, which will execute 3 quick piercing attacks, each one dealing damage and applying a bend to the enemy armor. And then lastly, we have the Sweep ability, which will sweep your enemy legs, making them knock down and deal a bunch of damage. So then let's move over to the rotation. And no matter if you're farming mobs in PvE or doing PvP, the same principle and rules apply. So at the beginning of the fight, we want to start with the bow. And from distance, shoot one normal shot. Then penetrating shot. Then again, one normal shot. And then explosive arrow. And then lastly, once again, shoot one normal shot and then use the rapid shot. And then keep on using the bow till the enemy gets close to you. And then when he does, then switch the spear and use one normal attack then skewer, then sweep, and then finish it off with the perforate, and that's it. So now for my last and final conclusions for this build. This bow and spear weapon combination is very high damage build, that will give you the perfect playstyle for close and distance fighting. So then last but not the least, this is what you want to be using bow, spear, and chest armor wise, and perks are as important as gems of course. And then these are the best gloves, boots, leg armor, and helmet. And then lastly, these are the top 3 best jewelry that you want to get. If I went too fast, you're feel free to pause the video and copy these exact same gems and perks. But of course, this build will work fine with any gear, as long as you're using the same attribute and weapon setup that I showed. And then lastly, this is how your item should look like. So on your bar, you want to use the health and regen potions, then mana potions and then the fried alabanya. And then of course, on your character, you want to equip the heart rune of detonate. So in a quick summary, if you're looking for an amazing ranged build that will give you a fun playstyle and diversity, then this is the build for you, so enjoy! And then moving over to my last and final build, which is the Hammer and Blunder Bust. And these are the attributes you want to have. So then, no matter from which level you start using this build, you first of all want to get your strength to 100, or even 150, and then start building your constitution. And around level 60, you should have 300 strength and 150 constitution. But if you are a super hardcore player with 600 item score gear, then you are feel free to go with 50 more constitution, by using the food and full endgame gear. And then last but not the least, for your armor, you want to go with the medium category. And the best setup is to have heavy helmet, 
heavy chest armor, medium gloves, light pants and medium boots. So then for the first weapon we have the Warhammer and these are the weapon masteries you want to have. So first of all you want to unlock this one perk and then the first ability called the Shockwave and then get these two perks. Then afterwards get the second ability called the Path of Destiny and then get these two perks. Then from here let's move over to the other side and unlock both these two perks and then lastly get the last third ability called the Breaking Ball and then get these three perks and that's it. Now from this moment you can spin your points in whatever way you like. So then moving over to the second weapon which is the blunderbust and these are the weapon masteries you want to have. So first things first you want to unlock both these two abilities called the Azot Shrapnel Blast and Clash Shot and then get these four perks. Then from here let's move over to the other side and unlock the last third ability called the Splitting Grenade and then get these five perks and that's it. Now again from this point and onwards you're free to use your points in whatever order you want. So then let's move over to the gameplay where I'll show you the best way to play this build. So for the first weapon we have the Warhammer and the first Q spell is called the Shockwave and when using this spell it will give us the ability to slam down a hammer and create a smaller earthquake and all players standing in it will get stunned for 2 seconds. Then for the second ability we have the R skill called the Path of Destiny which will create a huge electric wave and all enemies standing in this path will be taking bunch of damage. And then lastly we have the F ability called the Wrecking Ball, which when using will strike the ground with your Warhammer, dealing additional damage and flattening your target. So then going over to the second weapon which is the Blunderbust, and as I already covered this weapon twice, so we will just take a closer look at the last skill which is called the Claw Shot, and this will shoot forward this harpoon, dealing damage, then rooting the enemy in front of you, and then lastly you will automatically get pulled closer to the enemy. Ok so then let's take a closer look at your best skill rotation, that works both for PvP and PvE. So then the way you want to attack an enemy is by first of all using your Warhammer, and then use your Shockwave and then Breaking Ball, and this will stun and flatten your target. Then from here switch back to the Blunderbust and shoot the Splitting Grenade, then the Claw Shot and then the finish off with the Shrapnel Blast. This combo should one shot the enemy, but if the target just has a still a little bit of health, then switch back to the Warhammer and finish him off with your Path of Destiny. So now for my last and final conclusions for this build. This Warhammer and Blunderbust weapon combination is very good because you can survive for very long while at the same time being very mobile by using the medium gear and then as well being able to do massive amounts of close range damage. So then last but not the least for your Warhammer and Blunderbust for PvP and PvE you want to use the Opal Gem and then for all of your gear get 3 Malachite and 2 Onyx Gems. And then on your character you want to equip the Heart Rune of Detonate. And then on top of all this to find out the best weapon and gear perks watch this video in which I will explain in depth which weapon and gear perks are the best for your build. And you can find the link in this video description or just scroll through my channel. So in a quick summary if you're looking for the best blunderbuss build that you will be able to use for crazy damage then this is the one for you so enjoy. And that's about it. So I really do appreciate everyone for watching guys and I hope you enjoyed it. If you have any suggestions, feedback or other good new world builds that you would like to see in the next video, then feel free to leave your comments in the comment section down below. And while you're doing that, please click like, subscribe and enable that notification bell. So this way you could support the channel and you won't miss any more amazing content from me. With all this said, you have an amazing day and I will see you in my next video. So take it easy. Peace.